Timing overhead cam engines can be a little bit scary for people that may not have done it before. Well, here today I'm gonna show you how to time the Gen 1 3.5 liter EcoBoost. The only special tools you're gonna need are these cam holders. You can find them online. I'll probably have them linked up down below if you wanna go check some out. These are cam holders that are going to hold our cams up top here. First thing we gotta take these oil feed lines off right here. You'll notice we have these two flat spots. Those are the spots that's gonna ride inside of our tour. So when you still need to turn these, That one's on, and that one's on. We have our cams locked and held down. Now we can undo our timing chain tension right here. You do need to make sure that the timing dots that we're actually gonna be timing are up because if you spun this over, you notice they're flat spots. If you had it 180 out with the dots at the bottom, you could still time that thing that way. So make sure the dots are facing up. Four revolutions a minute. Slowly. Good this part here can be a little tricky. What I do is I usually, it's a little harder when the cab motor's in the truck, but I'll grab it out here like this and see I use that leverage to pull, twist it out. Same thing on this side here. Yeah, I know, but I done told the people it can be done, Jake, so it's got to be dead. Boom, told you. What up? Got the primary chain off of this thing, and I need to get to this bolt right here that's behind the cam phaser because I need to put the guide on that was broke right here. You can see the remainder of it right there. So in order to get this cam phaser off to access that bolt, we need to take some tension off our secondary chain. See, I have a tension back up in here. That is where this little tool here comes in. I have this linked up down below as well. Probably will be all in one kit. But this is gonna go in here and hook behind. There's a little dimple back here you probably can't see. Oh, there we go. Oh, that didn't go so hot. No. <sighs> Not actually removing all these phasers, but we do have our tool locked in here that gave us our slack on our chain. So go ahead and mark this here for us. Way we don't mess up. Why wow, the bolt gotta be so long, man? What is it? I ain't done one of these in a while. I do admit, YouTube, it has been a while since I have pulled a timing chain off of Gen 1. We just do too many Gen 2s. Got me a little confused here. These phasers don't rattle. Yeah, if they, when these phasers start rattling, guys, you got issues. Now that we don't need this cam phaser off anymore, we're going to reinstall it. I think. Somewhat. <laughs> our final timing chain guide here. This is the one that's gonna be able to move and tighten up over time as our chain and guides wear out. Got our brand new Ford timing chain here. You see we got a double link mark and then we have two single link marks, a bronze one and a yellow one. Pretty hard to mess this up, guys. Color link. Ourselves a little bit of slack so we can get it wrapped around what would be the water pump on a regular 3.5 and like an Explorer or a Taurus. There we go. That's all it was. A little slop in our tool. It's not uncommon to have to spin the crank just a little bit to get it lined back up. As long as you have both of the cam holder tools on there, it's not going to matter. I'm just going to move it just enough that it lines up where our marks are. We want all the slack of the chain on this side because, like I told you earlier, this is where the tensioner is going to take up your slack. The dot in between the two colored links, our slack goes here. Double check ourselves one more time here. The bottom, we have our dot in between our two copper links right there. Copper link on up here. 
yellow ink on right here. Now, all we got to do is pull our grenade pin and boom! Now you have successfully timed a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Could be out of time. Your name, Austin? Name. Thank you, Austin.